Hey, what's going on, Facebook? Uh, Jeff Koga here, and I want to talk about something that's been in the news of what majority of uh, Americans, I believe, are looking at, which is through social media, in this particular case, uh, Facebook, versus actually talking about what really matters if you are reading the news, if you see this picture or not, is what's happened in Puerto Rico. OK, but let's talk about the stupidity of this um, is because um, a lot of talks about the NFL, uh, the American flag. And I'll talk about how uh, this will probably tie into how aliens will seriously probably solve a lot of this issue and problem that we have probably around the world. So stick with me. OK, and I decided to make this video because I saw a post from one of my friends, uh, Justin Lee, and I respect him very much He's a, another investor and I've known him for quite a while now. And he posted something. I'm going to read it to you, okay? And um, and keep an open mind and an open heart because a lot of times when we talk about certain things that are quote-unquote headlines in the news, right? People have an opinion about that and the, simply they're listening for the sake of validating their own opinion. So here it is, okay? So Justin posted and he says, after reading tons of uh, stuff on Facebook over the fa uh, past few days, here are my thoughts. Number one, Sunday, September 16th, week two in the NFL, fewer than 10 players total either sat or raised uh, a first during the anthem across the league. Number two, Friday, September 22nd, the president calls the people son of a bitches and calls for them to be fired. And number three, he goes on to say, I wonder why on Sunday, September 23rd, we had over 250 players kneel, sit, or remain in their locker room during the anthem. Was it that they all, all of a sudden, had a change of mind or a change of heart or the president's unnecessary inflammatory remarks spark it? pretty easy answer if you ask me if you think about it right now number four justin goes on and says if you're in the i don't want politics at my sporting event crowd which i'm firmly in by the way uh why the heck do we even play the national anthem at a sporting event why big question mark and the answer is easy it's called forced patriotism Okay, side note next to Jumbo Shrimp, forced patriotism is the biggest oxymoron on the planet. And if you don't know what that word means, look up what oxymoron means, okay? Um, and what's next? Playing the anthem when I go to a concert, to a movie. And if you think about it, when I go to a Man United versus Liverpool, they don't play God Save the Queen because it's a domestic event. Good point, right? Okay, and then he goes on, Justin says, number five, if you're in the it's disrespecting the flag or the country camp, then why aren't you up in arms about the flags used as napkins on someone using it to blow their nose, a wipe up, spill the food? And why aren't you angry about someone wearing the flag as a bathing suit or a bandana or a beer company using the flag on a beer cans to sell more beers? Now, all those, by the way, are ex explicitly written in disrespecting the flag not standing for the anthem is not and i'll post a source in the comment below and he actually physically does post a comment in the comment in that okay and then he goes on to say number six uh he says justin goes on says if you're in the yeah but the nfl took 12 million dollars from the military to display the flag before a sporting event camp do you think that the nfl in all of its riches asked the military for 12 million dollars OK, or you think the military asked the NFL how much it would cost to be allowed to do so before the game. Hmm, something to think about. All right. And then he goes, don't you think that the Department of Defense could spend the 12 million dollars differently? I'm sure spending that money to help vets come back into society after tour duty uh, would be a much wiser use of the money than more of the forced patriotism. Now, I have a, a strong bias towards that. OK, why is because my wife worked for a nonprofit organization and I've heard some of her stories where she's doing running programs and grant programs to help out kind of the, the people who are coming back in this country. And I've heard some of those stories. I'm like, dang. OK, so and then Justin goes on to say, number seven, if you're in the hey, these are million dollar athletes disrespecting the flag camp, then what do you suggest they do if they want to protest racial injustice in this country? What would be your acceptable form of protest? Seriously. 
Okay. And then he goes, number eight, if you don't like it, get the hell out of the country camp. Does that mean that every time someone does something you don't disagree, uh, that you don't agree with, or the government does something you disagree with, you need to move? Hmm. Right. And, or can we have a rational civil discussion about it or peacefully protest it? Or do we need to have a country that has a bunch of mindless lemmings who aren't capable of intelligent, respectful disagreement? And Justin goes on to say, if you're in the NFL, uh, players are protesting the flag and or the anthem camp, you need to watch the first video I post in the comment below. While I would personally always stand for any countrymen, countries, anthem no matter the venue or situation i fully support anyone's right for peaceful protest and our ability to make the country a better place for everyone all right so i read that and i'm sitting here right i'm just like dude like is that really the headline news? And like I said earlier, look, okay, I'm looking at the Wall Street Journal, right? This is the news from today, right? Okay. And if you're watching this, okay, look, you see the cover? Okay. This is more important in my opinion. All right. I have uh, some friends and people I know that are being literally cannot communicate with friends and family of the United States. Okay. And uh, the more I look at it, you know, I'm just like, man, can that energy be used for something else. All right now, I do know the root cause of this, right? It started from racial inequality and injustice and uh, the topic started from there, but ch check this out, okay? And here's the reason why I, t I said this topic is about NFL, the American flag and how aliens can help us all seriously, all right? Is my stepdad, right? He's a little out older, okay? And I've had a conversation with him, um, uh, conversation with him because, um, you know, he told me about a beach in particular, South Carolina. As a matter of fact, in the 70s, I believe it was Myrtle Beach, okay, that um, he's, he loves jazz, okay. So he's out on the beach and he told me that there was a curfew, meaning that African Americans during that time were only allowed to go on the beach, I believe from like 10 to 5 p.m. or something like that, or 4 p.m. So he had this friend that was a gal that he was out there on the beach with, right? Now, now, as he's telling me this story, right, I'm just like, this is just in the 70s, okay? And uh, he said that while they were having fun, they didn't realize what time it was, and they went over the curfew, okay? Now, right when they went over the curfew, they started seeing boats coming closer to them, right? And a cop police car pulling up be uh, right on the beach from the street. And he started to see her friend start getting her eyes bigger and bigger and bigger because she knew that she was in trouble, all right? And what my stepdad ended up telling me was that his two friends, okay, two Caucasian guy and the one black girl, okay, all right, got arrested with almost 50, you know, like he said, like 50 police officers and Coast Guards and stuff like that that came over, okay? Now, they got arrested and, um, you know, the black girl got one year in jail for passing curfew, all right? The other friend got, I think he's told me like three months in jail, okay, um, the Caucasian friend. And him, because he was from California and had a license, he said the judge told him that you are a dumb Californian. Get the F out of our state, okay, and kick them out. All right. Now we're having this conversation, right? And then I kind of jokingly talked to him about this. And I said, you know what would make this world much a better place, you know? And I said, you know. Remember that movie but with Will Smith, Independence Day, okay? And uh, I've said this before that this will solve this. And what is Independence Day? When a aliens, uh, you know, came and tried to destroy planet Earth, all right? Now, what did that do? Is it literally it removed labels that we have, right? Black, white, Asian, you're yellow, whatever it is, right? You're a liberal, con, you know, conservative, you're in the middle, whatever that is, right? Moves the label and you become essentially what? Just simply humans. And we were joking around about that, but I really believe that, right? Which is if something like that happens, I think that would be the solution to all of it, okay? And it's a challenge, especially now, I think, um, in, in our country, because there is a lot more important things, in my opinion, right now, as people are literally going to run out of food and water in Puerto Rico, okay, in Puerto Rico, all right? 
And one of my good friends, his family is there, and I know their parents is there. And they told me that he got a phone call. And their parents are in the uh, western south side of the island or whatever. And uh, um, he said he got a phone call, I believe it was Friday, right, right after. And it took about an hour and a half for them to drive to a location where they have cellular reception, okay? And uh, he said that he found out his mom called him. He said he talked to him. He said, yeah, I'm all right. Okay. And, um, you know, I've been texting him back and forth, asking him about that and says, Hey man, um, your family's all right. Your family's all right. You know, to a point where he's probably like, you know, what the heck? I never get this many texts from Jeff. Right. So I'm texting him and he's all like, yeah, yeah. I talked to them. I think they're all right. Now I, I don't know exactly what's going on. Right. Cause sometimes in the picture, right. That you see pictures and things like that. Right. It doesn't really tell the whole story. We all know this if you're on the internet, right. Especially if you're a guy or something like that, you know that, right. You see someone with the, some girl with the headshot or something like that. You're like, Oh my God. She looks so pretty and you meet him in person. You're like, whoa, right? So, and vice versa for, for other people too, right? So he's telling me that. And since then it goes into the weekend, all right? And uh, more pictures, more videos come in and how bad it is. And I'm just like, damn. And luckily enough, I asked him, I was just like, I was like, dude, do they got food and water? And he was just like, wow, they got two gigantic water tanks on top of their house. All right. And uh, I was just like, okay, that's good. They got water, right? Because that's number one. And uh, the other side is they got, I know that they have food, right? Um, which is because they have like, um, like chickens and turkeys and stuff like that, right? A good friend, you know, at his last birthday, I was, his dad was there and I was talking to him about how he has turkeys and stuff like that. So at least I know that they have food, right? And water. But the issue, again, is that something bigger than, again, like, what people are talking about is not the flag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about this, right? Right here. Let's do something to, to help these folks out. And that's kind of my message today. And really, I'm a firm believer that, you know, if aliens come down like the movie Independence Day, then can unite as just being simply human beings, not, again, I'm a American, I'm a, you know, hey, liberal, I'm a Republican, I'm a, you know, hey, this particular thing, right? Um, and if we do that, you know, hey, what, you know, where can we do? Where would it be as a society, you know? Um, and that's why I have the idea and I want to champion those people and people that want to go into space and explore space because I think that's the, that's the place that will actually change this. And, you know, hopefully in my generation, I'm able to actually, before I die, I'll be able to see that the actual world unite, unite as one. And the interesting thing is dad used to say this kind of stuff and I didn't get it when I was uh, little. For anyone that knows me, they know kind of my middle name and they may not know, you know, my brother's middle name, but my brother's middle name is Sakai, which is in Japanese means world. And my middle name in Japanese is Tairiku, and it means continent. And uh, my dad's kind of a quirky, weird guy. And the older I get, I appreciate all the weird and strange things that uh, he taught me when I was growing up. And uh, he would say that, hey, we're all one species. We're all individuals. And, and only if we can all figure that out, you know, how much of a better place we would be in. So um, that's what um, I got for y'all on uh, Facebook land. And uh, um, that's what I got for today.